It's a blessed day once again. Family, I greet you. Welcome to Live with Shatufa. We are still looking at uh, issues that are happening in the nation. Quite a lot that is uh, happening. Uh, many, many interesting issues that we see happening these days, especially as we are looking at uh, the total collapse of uh, the regime, the enemy of the Zimbabwean people. We have been talking about uh, Amos Shibaya, our chain champion that has been arrested by the regime, by Emerson Mnangagwa. And we know that he has been given bail and was rearrested uh, by the regime again. And uh, today, as we speak, uh, he was uh, he was rallied before the courts. And unfortunately, at the courts, Mnangagwa uh, keeps playing political games with uh, Amos Shibaya's court case. Uh, we have seen this happening in many, many uh, different situations where uh, the people that are involved, be the magistrates or, polit or, or the 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 you know the uh, court officials or police whatever that they are prosecutors they would always want to play games uh, i still remember many many times in the uh, job scholars case where the magistrate would be giving some lame and funny excuses like that the magistrate had flu uh, so she did not come and Scala will be taken back to prison so we know that these are political games that Mnangagwa always wants to play uh, for the sake of wanting to keep somebody longer and longer in prison. All this is all about punishing the people that are standing for change. It's all about punishing them. There is nothing. Nangagwa does not have any case whatsoever. And in the courts, they even know it, that the man has no case. But uh, the problem is the capture, the judicial capture that we have experienced, the capture of all arms of government have been captured by Nangagwa to the point that everything that happens today is all because of uh, what Mnangagwa wants uh, and whatever that he wants is what we continue to see happening, which is very, very unfortunate. So Amos Shibai had been rallied before the courts and we hear that there were some lame excuses that were given as to why he, his case cannot go through today. And uh, uh, there's quite a, a lot of other chain champions did, of course, go to meet uh, uh, Shibaya and uh, stand with him. So uh, here we see solidarity is key. Citizens attended court, uh, court today in solidarity with Honorable Amos Shibaya. Uh, he has been remanded in custody to tomorrow uh, at 9 a.m. And the reason was very, very funny. The reason being that the court papers were not yet ready uh, for him, uh, for his case to go through. And you'd ask yourself, why? what are the people that are responsible for doing this doing? There are people that are supposed to be doing their work, but it seems like uh, they would always want to pretend and give some lame excuses why they are not supposed. They are not fulfilling what they have to do. All this, like I said, are plans to just frustrate the situation and to keep somebody longer in prison. But uh, we have continued to say that uh, Mnangagwa, uh, with all this that he is doing, is only making things worse for himself. Because nobody will ever stop this. Ian Smith did the same thing. He arrested many of the nationalists, and Nagagwa also knows it, that he tried it so much, uh, frustrating the nationalist movement, thinking that if I keep the leaders in prison, then uh, I, I shall kill the struggle. But instead, he saw that uh, the Joshua Nkomos, the Robert Mugabe's, were kept in prison for long, long years, but still the struggle did not stop. And that is the same thing. Uh, this, this battle for the freedom for Zimbabwe is not an individual issue. It is not about one individual or one person. No, this is a struggle for the people of Zimbabwe and everyone is involved in it. And God also happens to be in it. So no one can fight and stop this. It will continue to be a struggle that shall reach its uh, you know, fulfillment. The word of the Lord that he has given us that the season of change has come cannot be stopped because Mnangagwa is uh, arrested uh, a, a number of our leaders a number of our chain champions, and he thinks that uh, then he's going to frustrate the struggle. It's not going to happen because then he has to arrest every Zimbabwean. That's what it means. He has to arrest us all because if you arrest one, uh, the other person will be rising again. You arrest the other, the other person is rising again. So the most initiating thing that we are seeing happening is the abuse of the state power where Mnangagwa has grabbed all the power 
and he calls the shots. He is the one who dictates what happens. And this is very unfortunate and very sad. So we want to continue to be standing with our champions, especially those that are still there. We still know the Timber and the other group, they are still out there, uh, still uh, uh, shut in prisons uh, by Mnangagwa. And we want to continue to be making noises and to demand their freedom, to demand for their release, as well as uh, uh, Amos Shibaya also is a powerhouse. And they know that the man is a powerhouse in the struggle for the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. So Nangagwa knows that if I get hold of Amos Shibaya, uh, I, I may be frustrating quite a lot of other plans that could be you know, put in place. And I'm sure they know that uh, uh, Nelson Jamisa is about to make a move. Uh, that is why they are beginning to do this. It's all to try and make sure that maybe they keep him isolated and uh, he doesn't have his uh, lieutenants with him. But the truth of the matter is we are the lieutenants. The lieutenants are still here. We are there. We will, many, many people can be available to take that very place that uh, Amos Shibaya is, is, is occupying. So nobody can shut down this struggle. So the struggle is on and uh, the political games that Nangagwa is playing are not going to get him anywhere far. Because look at what is happening right now with the situation on the ground. Uh, there are things that Nangawa can't arrest. There are things that Nangawa can't rig. There are things that Nangawa cannot change, like what we are seeing happening to the economy. So that's a lie, thinking that uh, there is one way of killing the struggle. Because there is another thing, again, that will continue to come after them. Things, Some of the things that are beyond their own control like the economy what can you do about the economy of zimbabwe you can't stop it you can fight it you you, you can turn it around it, it it goes down and down and down as long as the situation is has not improved especially the political situation on the ground human rights situation continues to cause the economy of zimbabwe never to rise again well, of course we are not going to even forget to talk about the corruption so these are some of the things that we continue to see are happening in the nation. So let's continue to stand in the gap and intercessors. Let's pray for Amos Shibaya and let's continue to in involve our God in this struggle. We can't fight this struggle on our own. We need to have God on our side. And for God to be on our side, we need people that will continue to involve God through prayer, through intercession, standing in the gap, declaring the word of God over the nation of Zimbabwe. And definitely we will see at the hand of the Lord coming uh, through and our nation getting to its deliverance. Zimbabwe is going to be free and our struggle for freedom is still on. We are not giving up until freedom is certain. So this is what it is. Thank you so much, family. Just updates that we are giving you throughout uh, the day. Thank you so much for joining me on the show and remain blessed.